let's solve the solution for this given differential equation starting with the idea of separating the variables for which one side will contain one type of variable let's have the left hand side for y and the right hand side for x so you have here uh, dy over dx or the first order derivative of y with respect to x equal to e to the power of 3x plus 2y first let's try to uh, remember that if we have a sum of exponents we can rewrite it in this manner e to the power of 3x times e to the power of 2y because if we have sum of exponents that would mean that we are just multiplying same basis that's why we are adding the exponents we are doing this so that we could separate the variables and uh, as we do that we would like to remove dx here so multiply that on the other side so this would be removed but of course also multiplying e to the power of 2y here so this would be removed and doing the same on the other side hence our form now is dy over e to the power of 2y equal to um, e to the power of 3x dx or you can rewrite your left hand side with this form e to the power of negative 2y dy is equal to e to the power of 3x dx notice that the exponent of e on our left hand side specifically 2y from positive it becomes negative 2y because we have applied here the law of negative exponent stating that if we have an exponentiation that can be found in our denominator we can move the entire exponentiation up but making sure that the exponent will have its opposite sign okay that's the uh, law of negative exponent and the reason why we're doing this because it's easier for us to do the next step as we are going to integrate both sides of the equation you have the integral of e to the power of negative 2y dy is equal to the integral of e to the power of 3x d x before we can integrate this let us not forget that if we have um an ex, uh, expression like this where the exponent of e is not necessarily equal to a uh, a, um, a variable singular variable in this case we have minus 2y and 3x on the other side there should be an equivalent um constant that will be added on the uh, expression this one here before we can integrate them i'm talking about this we actually need negative 2 as a factor here so that we can integrate that because uh, as we return to its derivative we are actually getting the derivative first order derivative of the exponent which is negative 2 but make sure that you are also not changing the entire expression hence if you are multiplying negative 2 on the expression make sure that you are going to neutralize that on the other side or uh, let's have the, the, the negative sign somewhere here so that your negative 2 times negative 1 half is positive 1 you are not changing the value you're just trying to do that because you would like to uh, to make sure that your expression can be integrated doing the same thing on the other side we have here e to the power of 3x we need a factor of 3 dx here so we'll have one third on this side so please don't forget those processes as they are very essential as we go through our next few processes so let's continue so we have it here you have negative one half then the first order derivative or i mean the sorry the integral of this expression is just e to the power of negative 2y equal to one third the other side we just simply e to the power of 3x and then plus c of course you can also have plus c here but since they are arbitrary constants and let's just simply um com can be combined with another c so let's have that in this case now uh let's try to finalize this well actually this is already acceptable but if you don't like fractions you can multiply all terms by let's say six or negative six because you also would like to make the uh numerical coefficients of e to the power of negative 2y positive so negative six times negative one half is positive three e to the power of negative 2y your uh right hand side will become minus two okay that's minus two 
uh, you have e to the power of 3x and of course you will have minus 6c here or if again if you don't like negative you can simply multiply it by 6 this is plus this is positive and you will have minus here and if you're going to let 6c as just simple c you will have this expression negative 3 e to the power of negative 2y equal to 2 e to the power of 3x plus c represented by 6c now you can have different forms into this but this is already acceptable as our answer even this form earlier is already acceptable as we are already tried to solve for the given expression we um there might be processes where we can really uh show uh what they call this one just y is equal to something but just for the purpose of this discussion as we look into the concept of separation of variables let's just stop here and accept this as our final answer thank you very much for watching